So I made an announcement the other day on the community notes, and it's something that um, I've been planning for a little while. Um, I've been on this platform for over 10 years making content. I have over 1,700 videos. Um, most of them has barely any views, if none at all. Um, and it wasn't until a couple of years ago when I started getting a little bit of traction. And I really loved it. I really loved being a part of that. I love seeing my channel grow. And that's a lot of people, especially in content creation-wise, like a streamer, or a YouTuber, TikTok, whatever. Um, a lot of people really want that. That's the ultimate end goal, right? Um, people want success. They want to be able to entertain people. They want some fame, fortune, and whatever else that comes with it. Um, I love making YouTube videos. I love this channel. Um, I don't want to throw it away. Um, lately, I've been having some problems uh, with my mental health. It's been going on for a while. Um, I don't talk about it much, and some of the stuff I've been covering lately is mainly just gaming and uh, YouTube drama. Um, so, let's go ahead and get some things off my chest real quick. Um, first and foremost, um, I, um, I got really deep into the political uh, rabbit hole. Um, I got to a point, there's some things that I don't, dis I don't like, things I disagree with that um, I made clear on my Twitter page. Um, some people may disagree with me and some people may not. Um, I've, you know, for the longest time I used to be really, really, really liberal. Um, and now I'm more conservative than I used to be. Um, the main reason I went that because I don't really like the way our country is changing. And it's been getting me really, really sad just seeing things that are happening throughout the world with all the wars. Uh, we have the inflation. We have the riots. Um, we can't even agree on video game consoles. Um, and I got really deep into that. And when you get deep into subjects like that, you become toxic and your toxicity goes through and you basically lash out, especially if you're angry. Um, and that's how I was. I was very angry. Um, I had a lot of discussions, um, especially around some things that, like I said, didn't like. And, you know, I made it clear. People wanted to argue and I argued back. Um, and I got to the point where I realized that, hey, I don't need to be in this. So I deactivated my ex account uh, because I just didn't want to do it. It was actually making me angrier and angry. And I was waking up angry looking at the tweets. I'm like, okay, this sucks. I, I hate you. And I was being a troll because I am a troll for the most part. Uh, that's how I get, came to notice because I'm kind of a big troll. Um, and a lot of the things that I disagree with uh, has a lot to do with my newfound faith, which, you know, like I said, I'm, 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 I, I, I believe I'm a Christian. I know I'm a Christian. I'm not a perfect Christian, but I do believe in God, and I do believe. Hopefully, whenever I go, um, I'll go to what I'll call home. Um, and a lot of the stuff that I see going on right now is really conflicting, and it's making me fight my, you know, my faith versus the what's going on in the world, and I don't want that. Um, you know, especially I just found grace and I feel, uh, I felt a whole lot better when it happened because I had a big chip on my shoulder. Uh, I was an atheist for a very long time. Um, and like I said, I just started seeing these things and I started playing into the toxicity and it was making me sad, depressed, had anxiety at the wazoo, made me think about suicidal thoughts and just thought about just ending myself quite a few times. Because I didn't want to see our country just die. I, I love this country. I, I, I love this country. I love everybody. And I love you guys. I love even people that disagree with me. Um, you know, you can disagree with each other and not hate each other. But some people forget that. Um, but I was playing into the toxicity. And I got to the point where I couldn't do it anymore. Um, I was talking to a friend and, you know, he's on a different side of the aisle than I am. Um, and it just started making me feel like, hey, this is going to end badly for me. Um, I'm going to stress and stress and stress and it's ultimately going to be a bad thing. So I did deactivate my ex account. Um, I deleted my Reddit account. Um, I got rid of a bunch of channels that I follow 
um, that had a lot to do with uh, drama and political stuff. And I still do watch some political stuff. Um, but I, I didn't want to play into it. I didn't want to. I was looking at the delete law stuff. And I'm like, okay, that makes me angry. I don't want to talk about it anymore because it just makes me angry because these people, like these frauditors and shit like that, they're getting paid to be immoral pieces of shit. And I hate that. And when you fight back, they just get more popular and they get more money and what yada, yada, yada. I don't want to play that. I don't want that to be my legacy as a channel. Um, even if my channel for some odd reason takes off, which, you know, it's always, there's always a chance. I'm not saying it's not possible, but, you know, doing this for over a decade, you'd expect maybe something. And here's the thing. Everybody that's subscribed to me, everybody that's left a comment, a like, I, or, or a dislike or a hateful comment, I really appreciate every single one of you, every one of you. Like I appreciate it. Um, you know, I was getting to the point where I, I was loving making videos. I loved doing streams and I've been trying so hard to get back into streaming. And lately where my mental health has been so bad and it's one of the pill, the uh, pillars of this channel was mental health and gaming. Um, you know, you start, when you start seeing things that make you angry over and over and over, it doesn't help you, especially, like I said, especially if you suffer from anxiety or depression. It does not help in the slightest. It makes things worse. It amplifies things. Now, on top of that, I was really sick. I had a um, respiratory infection for about two weeks. I'm finally getting over that. And, you know, I'm waiting to get, you know, full time at my current job so I can get medicine with my insurance and stuff because. Uh, it's it's expensive, very expensive, just like everything else in the world right now. Everything is so high. Um, I've been so angry about going to the grocery store with $200 and got the equivalent of what I would have got for $100, it seems. Um, and it makes me depressed seeing that. And, you know, I see people being complete pieces of shit getting a rewarded for it. And it makes it makes me so mad. And when you kind of, if you say, here's another thing, like stuff I cover on the gaming stuff, when I talk about like the culture war, when the whole thing about woke and not woke and all that stuff, you know, I see that part and how it makes me angry. It makes me angry because, hey, I love gaming. I didn't use, you know, I never went to gaming for uh, a culture war or political theater. I didn't want to do that. I use gaming movies and shit like that, unless they are directly... Uh, trying to make a political message and you can say Metal Gear Solid does that uh, and there's Call of Duty and all that stuff but I never really thought about it. I tuned the outer world out so I can uh, experience something different, take myself out of there and you start seeing these things, these new ideas and game journalists basically being activists that couldn't make it as real journalists so they went to gaming and they decided to put their activism inside their reviews, previews and all kinds of stuff and it basically all they're trying to do is like promote hate, hate, hate and some people might disagree with me but that's how what I see you, that you have studio heads saying hey I hate the gamers because you know uh, gamers suck, and I'm on the right side of uh, history. I remember Battlefield Five, I believe. Um, you know, you, you see these things, especially like um, some games that say they are tied historically to specific things, especially World War Two and the newest thing with Assassin's Creed Shadows. I know a lot of people are going to be like, "Well, you're racist," and it's not that. So let me get explain it really quick. So there is a character in Assassin's Creed Shadows. He is a black man. I forgot his name. Um, but anyways, he the, the history behind him is not really... Nobody knows, really. Nobody knows. He he not a samurai um, that we know of. Um, some historian basically created this... Um, <laughs> created this persona that he was the first black samurai and it's not really been the case because i mean there's no proof to it even japan has problems with it and on top of that they decided to make this character a historical character one thing he's a real person uh they're like well we can make him black and gay and they, they're trying to like 
get away, get around this stereotype and they're like, oh, this is not woke or anything like that. And I see that and I see the Japanese, like Japanese people's like really angry about this. This is like a serious thing. It's like you're really undermining Japanese culture and everything. And one of the big things that happened and one of the things you're going to say, holy shit. <laughs> one thing you're going to see um, with the Assassin's Creed Shadow thing, and this is why I probably won't get it. Um, is the fact that they got so much wrong trying to make a Japanese feudal Japan um, video game. They got it completely wrong through the way the message it was trying to teach. And, you know, you have Yasuke. Yasuke, I think that's his name. Um, he is a black man. He's big, broad, uh, strong, looks really cool. And the character design is really cool. I like that. And there's no real problem with him being black in the game. The big problem is, is the way they portray him, especially the fact when he goes into villages, killing other Japanese people. And all the Japanese people in the town basically worship him. And here's the kicker, though. Whenever they say they're trying not to be racist and they call us racist, they put Assassin's Creed was supposed to be historically, and they've never used a character, a main protagonist ever in the games, an actual historical th figure at all. It's always been fictional, but this is an actual person that was living. And <laughs> I don't know why this game takes place in feudal Japan. He's a black guy. And for some odd reason, they decide to put uh, rap beats with Japanese stuff. And it's like, that's really um that's racist <laughs> that's really racist why are you at attaching a stereotype to uh yasuke and here's the thing if yasuke was a samurai um that's pretty cool right i think that's cool i don't see no problem with it but the way they're portraying him, they're making him a gay black man why i don't know i don't know why they do this thing so that's just an example of some of the things i've been seeing for a very long time and I don't know why they do this. I don't know why they feel like putting in some kind of message because a lot of these games that come out when they're pushing some kind of uh, political propaganda or some type of activism, uh, the cells go downhill, especially if you take a look at some of the live service stuff that's come out. We have Concord, which is going to be dead on arrival. Suicide Squad, dead. Uh, there's a bunch of them, actually. There's a ton of them because they have these um, DEI... Um, <laughs> I guess they're specialists of some uh, some sort. I forget what they call them, um, but they they help them write stories and add diversity. And you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But it's just the way they implement it and how they say they're going to basically blackmail you to do it. And actually, the actual CEO or whatever basically said that um, in a actual thing. And I see this stuff. I see this in gaming. And it's taking me out. So you got the political stuff. You got my regular mental health. Um, I got the job stuff, I got me being sick, I got all this other stuff, and I see the gaming. Something that I've used as an escapism is going down the hill in response of using some kind of uh, DEI, woke nonsense. They just put it in there and they're like, here, eat this and expect people to like it. And again, the only thing people want in gamers is they just want to play a good game. Um, last thing I, like I said, last thing I can think of is playing Halo and wondering what gender Master Chief is because apparently there's infinite genders and that's not a thing. Um, same people will say uh, gender is a social construct, which is uh, really not it. It's just not it. That's this is wrong. It's ridiculous. It's like the dumbest thing. And if you believe that, that's fine. You can. I'm not going to make fun of you for doing that. But for me, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. It's just like making a mountain over a molehill. And the way I see this is like, okay, so you have infinite genders. You have a flag that has tons of different colors, right? So what's to stop me from going into, I don't know, a job? I'm say, hey, I identify as a... Uh, buck tooth hippopotamus that's also a female with one leg well i can say that i can say i identify as that i said that's my preferred gender since there's infant genders and they keep on creating new ones who's to say i can't have that one you can't you really can't i know that sounds stupid and far-fetched but that's the way i see it it's like because there's always new ones and you know whenever <laughs> You look at this, say if there's a gender or something like that that's not represented to, you know, that side, um, 
you come in, you're like, hey, why am I not represented? Why do I not have my own bathroom? Why do I not have my own characters? Um, it's very stupid. It's very stupid to me. Um, and it's just like the political stuff is just getting at me, and I don't agree with this. Thank you, Bowie. Thank you. <laughs> I just don't agree with this stuff, and it's just making me sick to my stomach. And I decided, hey, I'm going to step back. I'm going to step back for a little bit. Um, I don't know when I'll be back. I'll probably be back a year in a couple months or something like that and get back to it because, like I said, I really want to do this stuff. It means a lot to me. Um, it means the world to me. It's just one of my favorite things to do. And it does hurt me a little bit knowing that I might have to step away for a while and focus on what I need to do for my mental health, open my mind up a little bit and try to understand some things. Still, I'm going to come back. I want to be me. I don't want to be somebody else. I want to be me. Um, you know, some of the things I want to talk about, this is the stuff that's going on in the gaming industry that really bugs a lot of people. And, um, you know, I feel a lot of people does not speak up or the ones that do speak up, they get a uh, barrage of people trying to cancel them because no matter who says cancel culture doesn't exist, um, history has proved that wrong. Uh, you see this currently happening with Nerd Rodic and the Critical Drinker. Uh, same thing with Smash JT, Hypnotic, Side Scrollers, uh, Geeks and Gamers. Uh, they're more right leaning um, publications that I enjoy. Um, I just don't want to be that. I think you should be able to speak your mind um, as long as it's not hurting people. And when I say hurting people, I mean actually hurting somebody. Like, I don't think you should do that. I don't think you should be like, hey, go kill yourself. That's wrong. Or make fun of somebody's mental health. Like, I don't know, you're depressed and all that stuff. No, come on. Come on. Come on. I know we use things as jokes. Like, some people say you're autistic. And I am guilty of that. I'll say, use the meme, like, hey, you're autistic. And it's really stupid for me to say that so I don't want you to say that because I'm going to try to stop myself from saying it. I still say retarded a lot I don't think that's inherently a wrong bad thing to say um, but it's just I don't know it's just it's just been really bother me and I really want to take the time to see how I can fix my problems how I can be a better content creator um, and trying to just start all over all again you know, I changed the banner recently. Um, I got rid of some of the drama stuff, especially like with stuff we've been following. Um, I want to try to kind of move away from YouTube drama for the most part. Cover it whenever it's something that I really enjoy, but I kind of want to get away from a lot of the toxicity when it comes to this stuff. And I do want to focus more on mental health and gaming because that's the core pillar of this channel. I do want to open up these discussions like... Um, against you know ideologies like the woke ideology versus the not woke ideology now some people's like what does woke even mean you know what it means quit playing around um, it usually those people are like <laughs> what ifs or whatnots whatever um, it's just really stupid to me um, I've been really depressed I've been really angry um, this whole political nonsense has just been absolutely insane absolutely insane and i've never felt like this um i think the last time i felt this way and um this is a this is a big big long time ago and that was when obama was running for the first time and i was really politically motivated even though i didn't understand policies um and i voted for him because i liked him i still like him um but yeah, like I just see this stuff and I and and you know what I vote for now, like I know some people's gonna be like, hey, you suck, I you're a traitor and all this stuff whenever I take a look at it and it's like, well then just nothing really happened, what you're saying. Uh, I'm unwilling to have that conversation, but I don't wanna have the conversation where I lose a friend and I don't wanna do that because politics has been eating me every fucking day. Like I'm just constantly just looking at this uh getting angry and angry on how our country is actually changing for the worse. Um, and I take a look at what's happened in the UK. Um, it's all bad. We're getting ready to go into World War III, most likely. Um, and I, here's the thing. Like, um, if you believe in God, I hope so. I hope um, God has blessed you in some way. 
I'm going to tell you, we're probably not perfect Christians, but I feel like, you know, if we trust God, and we put our uh, life in his hands, maybe things will be a little bit better for us. Um, maybe we can have these conversations without hating or have vitriol for each other. Um, I know some people like God doesn't exist and I beg to differ. Okay. I, I don't think that even though long ago, I didn't think that. And it took a special thing. It took me going through absolute hell for years in order to get back here. And, you know, I hope if you can feel free to pray, um, uh, if you haven't, if you feel like it, look into it. I'm not going to pressure you into it. Maybe you should. Maybe you should look at it. Might be something you might be interested in. Maybe um, you'll get the same relief I did. Um, I can't promise you it's going to fix everything because we all have problems. We all do. I have problems all the time. Um, but that's some of the stuff that's really been getting to me. Um, and I don't want to get angry and lash out. I don't want to make hateful content um, when it comes to the political divide. I, you know, I do want to call out the things that really bother me, especially with the gaming industry and movies and all that stuff. And, you know, there's still room for doing the fraud editor stuff, too, because obviously it's something there. But I kind of want to just take a break and come back with a fresh set of eyes on things. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, do a whole lot better for you guys. You know, I'm really trying here. Um, I want to be a good creator. And I could use the support anytime. Um, I know the channel might decline a little bit, especially when I've gone for a while. But I hope you guys stay with me. And if you disagree with me on any of this stuff, um, let me know. I'm not, I don't hate you. I don't. I love you, actually. I think you're awesome. Um... You don't have to agree with each other to and hate each other. You know, you don't have to do that. I think that's petty. Um, that's what diversity of ideals are like. Whenever people talk about diversity, they don't include things like religion, political leaning, stuff like that. They just think about skin color and gender, which that's part of it. But diversity is ideas as well as you know, all kinds of ideologies and stuff like that. So, guys, I, I love you very much. I'll see you hopefully soon and hopefully when I get back um, we can have a party again I'll see you guys soon